Good morning, everyone. Thanks for joining us for North Dakota Today on this Wednesday, starting to feel like fall. Mm. And uh, we were talking before the show. We're excited. we got to focus on today, but we're excited for tomorrow because we're going to be uh, taking the show on the road once again. On the again. road to the Blue Water Bash out there on 45th and 32nd. They do such a great job putting on bashes and with the food and the drinks and the, the concert. discounts, the concert. So be sure and uh, check us out. We're going to be live out there at yeah, 9 to 10, but everything really gets going at 10 o'clock. If you want to stop by early. It's going at 9. What are you talking about? Yeah, as I was say, if you want to come out at 9 and visit with us, yeah. that would be great. I'm sure that uh, everyone will uh, let you come in and hang out with us mm -hmm. as well. But we're going to be like making the, uh, we should get our passports early because that's the deal uh, for the party tomorrow from 10 to 8. You get a passport and then you have to stop at all the businesses and get your uh, stamp yes. or punch. And then you get put into a drawing for like some really awesome, awesome prizes. But my favorite thing is, like you just mentioned, the discounts and the food and the drinks at all of the locations. I'm excited. It's going to be fun. Hopefully the weather, is the weather going to cooperate? Yeah, or? I was going to say, it's starting to feel a little bit more like fall, but that's all right because both Lori's and Leland and Lavender have some great sweaters that you can buy when you get there. <laughs> or maybe some, uh, you know, I don't know if they have blankets, but they have fabulous pillows and things at McNeil and Friends, so. And diamonds keep you really warm, don't they? It warms your heart, <laughs> for sure. So, uh, uh, great businesses, and it's gonna be fun for us to, I feel like we're gonna get the uh, early preview shopping treat, but. Uh, oh yeah, we're gonna get the pick of the litter tomorrow. For sure, so. Bring your wallet, Chris. We're going to do a little shopping. So uh, be sure to tune in tomorrow morning, 9 to 10, and then, you know, just plan on spending the whole day there. I, one time, one of the bashes, I went uh, with colleagues from here. I went with friends, and we walked all around. And then the, the last time, I brought my mom. So no matter what, uh. I just have a, a super awesome time. Okay, well, we we should all but we especially love our veterans here on north dakota today and i just love this story and she's at it again did you hear about this chris no, this haven't. minnesota woman um is hoping to send up to 140 veterans to an ndsu football game which you know oh. it's a tough ticket sometimes to get but that's alana 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 christensen from rural campbell minnesota uh, she, she started this uh, last year, I think, and she's doing it again. She's working to get people to to donate their tickets or sell their tickets, and then they give them to veterans for free. So this year she's working on the November 9th uh, Home Bison game. Season ticket holders, uh, last year they donated their tickets, and uh, she also wow. has a GoFundMe page. So if you would like to even just, you know, donate some money so that she can buy these tickets to then give to uh, the veterans group, um, you know, I, I know my dad's very involved in the VFW and they were, I remember hearing last year and they're like, okay, you know, these are available to you guys, oh, to nice. the veterans. And a lot of them were able to take advantage. And so like, how awesome is that? Good I know what a, a great idea. And I just think, you know, it's, it's a fun treat. I, I go to a lot of games, but I know they're tough tickets to get. And you know, what a great thank you to a veteran so as well. So November 11th is Veterans Day, I believe. Monday. So it's yep. perfect that it's November yep. 9th. You can show up there. Hopefully, the buys them to do some kind of tribute to our vets. And what I a bet great they will. idea! Yeah. So please Man. help out. If you know, because I think that's deer, maybe deer opener. It's right around the time where a lot of people are hunting and stuff. So don't let the seats go empty. You know, give exactly. them to our veterans. And if you want more information, we mm -hmm. have it on our website, valleynewslive.com. And like I said, uh, one of our producers put it up on the hot button, so it's very easy to find. Donate nice. some money. <laughs> Help our veterans uh, get out there and enjoy a treat. I just love it. I got to give a shout out too to Sawyer Anderson. We've had her on the show before. Uh, she's with Wellspring. And so there's a special event taking place tomorrow night. So after you go to the Blue Water Bash, you can go to this. Sawyer's going to be there speaking. Uh, and if you don't know, what she's doing is she's got a great book. She's raising money to put water wells for people in Africa. There's people in Africa that really don't have access to good water. So she's trying to make a difference. And this is pretty cool, Lisa. I just found out speaking to her dad that she just is close to or inked a deal internationally with Vietnam for her books. Really? Yeah. So she's 10 years old. Um, she's working, doing a lot of work with Wellspring. She's got a great book, international author now. And so you can go out and make a difference and help uh, some young people in Africa. I mean, if you know, I remember the story. So one of the young people that she was there, she heard the story about where they went because they have to go walk so far to get water, right? And so one of the, I can't remember if it was a young boy or a young girl, but lost their sibling because they drowned in the water they were trying to get. So what she's doing is saving lives. It's fantastic. So if you want to go help out tomorrow night, please do so. Okay. A great one. Stay with us. Coming up next here on North Dakota Today is too much time in front of a screen messing with your child's eyes. Our friends over at I Consultants of Fargo have the answer next year on North Dakota Today.